So you guys, I'm giving you some tips on how you can prepare for the year 2021. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so I personally don't live by waiting to the next year to, to change my life or to do something that I desire to do. So I take it day by day. So right now we're still in the month of December and I am still having goals that I want to meet for December. So I'm still working on personal goals for the month. So, but if you are that person that lives for the next year and the new year resolution and all of that, then I have some tips for you that you can use to better grow yourself in the year 2021 and to just have a better year personally for yourself so i always want to start out with your mental space so that's the first thing that i always work on is my mental space because if your mind is not stable if your mind is not clear if you are dealing with any kind of mental issues then you won't have a, a great year you won't have a great day and it just oh it's just very overwhelming and trust me I know because I've been there so the first thing you want us to do is monitor your thinking everything starts with a thought so a lot of times our mind is attacked our thoughts are attacked we have so much going through our minds negative and positive it's just really overwhelming so you really have to get control over your thoughts so you really want to monitor, monitor your negative thoughts and your positive thoughts for every negative thought that you have try to trans form that thought into a positive thought and you can do this by writing it down that's why journaling is so important because you can use journaling to do this so you can take any bad thought any bad day that you have had and then ask yourself how can i change this how can i switch these negative thoughts over to positive thoughts that will ultimately make me feel better and make me have a better day and i don't only a better day but a better month a better year just really work on your thoughts monitor your thoughts so like really do some journaling and really write everything down that you're thinking because you want to know where you are in your mindset so writing it down is like the best way to tackle those feelings and those thoughts and those issues that you are dealing with mentally so the second thing that you can do to make sure that your mental space is in alignment with your personal goals and the things that you want to do is to incorporate prayer and meditation. It's like the thing that I always talk about. I will never stop talking about this because it's so powerful. It's so powerful to connect to a higher power, to God, to the most high. And it's so powerful to meditate meditation is so important especially if you deal with any kind of anxiety depression anything like that you really want to always put yourself in a state where everything is quiet and you can calm everything that's going on in your mind so meditation is really important so that's one thing that you can do to prepare yourself for growth in 2021 also make sure you are incorporating daily affirmations this is really important also because whatever you want you have to be able to say it out of your mouth release it into the atmosphere into the universe and just put it out there like your words are energy and when you release it it goes out and work for you one example of daily affirmations is i am healthy my mind is healthy i am free i am loved i am needed i am successful i'm determined i am motivated even if you're not motivated i am motivated so you just release those things and in your mind you'll start to believe everything that you say it's like training your mind to think differently and to think that you are in a better place and then you'll start believing it and then your actions will line up with everything that you say and believe so yeah make sure you are incorporating daily affirmations every day you need to be um having some type of affirmation that you are saying to yourself to build yourself up now we move on to the physical space so physical space is also important because if your surroundings is out of order then that messes with your energy and so your energy is like your mind so you can't concentrate if everything is out of order out of place and un organized not clean so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you clean 
your home, you clean your car, you clean your desk, wherever you spend time in, make sure all of that is organized. If you have things that you don't use, get rid of it. Like don't have so much in your space because things have energy and sometimes it's so much energy bouncing off things on us and we wonder why we can't concentrate. You know, we're off balance. You want to make sure you clear your space. I'm just... I'm talking about cleaning your car out, everything. And look, these are things that I have to do myself. I, I have already started this process, you guys. So make sure you clean your physical space because your physical space, being clean, being organized, will help you be able to focus better. And the last thing that I have for you is to visualize. Always visualize where you want to be in the next year. Where do you want to see yourself at the end of next year? We don't know how next year is going to go, but we can always prepare for it. We don't know what's going to happen, but we can always make plans. So I always like to see myself exactly where I desire to be in the next year at the end of the year. Because in my mind, in my Heart. I want to make it to the end of next year. So I just picture myself there, picture myself meeting all of my goals, picture myself doing the things that I want to do, desire to do, not just for business, but in my family, in my finances, you know, in my social life. I picture myself, you know, being around the people that care about me and love me. And so that's what I do. I visualize it. I write it down. You can you can get a vision board, create a vision board. Some people don't are not in into vision board so just write it down just write it down and then just always go back and look at that and remind yourself this is what I want to do this is what I desire to do this is where I see myself and this is how my life is going to go and I decree it I declare it I don't believe anything else but the good things that I have wrote down about myself and my life and my desires and that's it so you guys have a happy new year